Hey guys, this is Aaron. Welcome back to GM Games. And today we're going to do a first look at Out of the Park Baseball 22. Uh, game was released about two and a half hours ago. Uh, got it downloaded and we're going to do a, 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 a quick first look at, at some of the some of the new features um, and some of the changes to the game. So let's jump right in. And, and I would say that the single biggest uh, single biggest change that they made this year is uh, they have uh, 3D uh, 3D stadiums now, which is really, really cool. So we'll go ahead and jump into a game here so you can see what that looks like. Um, but yeah, they've got every um, they've got every uh, uh, every stadium, and you can see I loaded up a, a save here between the 1956 Red Sox and the I don't know 82 or something um, Chicago White Sox. And you can see Fenway Park in all its glory, uh, fantastic. They got the Coke bottles there, which isn't something that they've had in Fenway for a while, but uh, um, nonetheless. You've got Fenway Park, um, which is terrific. I absolutely love this. So those of you who, who like to go in and actually play your games, um, you'll get to have your actual home ballpark, which I think is pretty awesome. I uh, haven't really played much, haven't really played any of the gameplay yet, but uh, everything looks uh, uh, pretty similar in terms of the positioning and, and, and everything else. Um, but let's let's take a quick look at let's let's just run a batter here and see what the uh, see what the actual gameplay looks like. Yeah, the even the 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 player models and, and all that stuff have uh, um, have uh, have improved. I, I really like that. Ooh, different camera angles. I love it. Very cool. So. Uh, that's that's change number one. That's probably the single biggest change, is is the uh, the 3D ballparks for every stadium. I think that's fantastic. Uh, so now we're gonna go over to and take a look at the new coaching system as they've added new coaches. So uh, I'll get to uh, home screen and we'll take a look at some of that. So I'll be right back. All right, so we are within the personnel tab of the Colorado Rockies, and it looks pretty similar. Most of the tabs look, look, you know, most everything looks similar to, to, to what you're used to if you've played out of the park baseball. But this biggest difference with the coaching staffs are uh, some of the additions that they've made. We'll take a look at some of that in a second. But you can see for assistant GM, bench coach, pitching coach, hitting coach, that hasn't changed. Scout and team trainer. Uh, they've added a first base coach and a third base coach. Uh, and all of those coaches have the ability to um, to to teach uh, to teach uh, your players specific things. So you've got the drop down box here to teach the catchers. So you can set this to Ronnie Gideon, who's the bench coach or who's your first base coach, and he's outstanding at teaching catching. Outfielder again, Ronnie Gideon teach outfielder. So Ronnie Gideon. So and it tells you. If he's over, oh, that's neat. It tells you if he's overworked or not, so you can back out there and you can go here, uh, teach running, Mike Redmond, and and these will help your players. Um, um, these will help your players obviously with with these with these skills, uh, and a lot of this stuff I'm learning as I go here too. So um, let's see what options we have if we click on Stu Cole. Okay, so these are just normal. These are just the normal. Uh, um, normal options. And I think, I wonder if you can hire people. Let's take a look. Let's see if I'm learning as we go here, guys. So much like you, can we hire people to, um, I wonder if we can hire people to be, um, let's see, offer contract. You can't. Okay, so you can't hire somebody to be a catching coach or a base running coach or something like that. But you can give them that. Uh, you can give them that ability. So that's pretty cool. So you've got the ability to to, to sort of um, go into a little bit more detail about what uh, what you're doing with your players with the coaching staff, and it gives them other things to do. Staff cohesion. I can Im only imagine that that. Uh, improves the longer these play these these coaches are with the team not really sure but uh, uh, they have also uh, increased or, or given you some more detail 
uh, when it comes to the pitching coaches and the hitting coaches and who they're going to work well with and stuff. So in previous seasons, when you clicked on this relationship tab, it gave you two boxes, right? You had your uh, relationship or you had your relationships here on the right and you had your development here on the left. Here it's a little different. It actually tells you, it breaks down who they have what their relationships look like. So you can see this pitching coach, Steve Foster, uh, gets gets along really well with a lot of the hitters on, on the Rockies team for some reason and struggles with, uh, has has not great relationships with some of the pitching staff, which is obviously not what you would want out of a pitching coach, but it allows you to, to make more educated decisions regarding uh, who you want as a uh, as a um, a pitching coach and a hitting coach. So if we go and we take a look at Dave Magadan, see the same thing. It lists uh, overall his relationship with the Rockies players is good, and you can see who he's actually good with and who he's not. So I think that's pretty cool as well. It gives you the ability, but it does still give you his coach focus, so you know. Um, you know, if it's contact or power or patience or if it's a pitcher, power or ground ball, um, et cetera, et cetera. So, um, yeah, see, I, I think they've, they've really done a nice job improving uh, kind of what you can do with your coaching staff. It, it actually gives these players some tangible skills and, and, uh, and tangible – and things you can actually look at and say, all right, well, Ronnie Gideon is outstanding, so he may not be a great first base coach, but if he's really, really good at teaching infield and catching, you know, maybe the, I want to hold on to him. So I think that's pretty neat the way that they do, the way that they have that set up. Um, they've changed. Let's take a look now at some of the other stuff that we're not really going to be able to t- take a look at until we actually get in here, but. Uh, they've uh, changed some team strategy options. Um, league, uh, the league, yeah, we'll look at this. So let's, all right. They've also changed some of the team player strategy. So let's take a look and see what they've done there. So game strategy. This looks, overall strategy. This all looks pretty much the same so i'm not sure what i'm missing here oh you've got strategy presets oh very cool okay so instead of having to change all of the sliders you can just say this is what i want to do i want to set my team to a sabermetric style strategy and it will change everything oh that's awesome that's very very cool So again, it because I mean one thing I never did was was take the time to go through all of these sliders, um, but yeah, that's really neat. I never took the time to go through all these sliders. Now I don't have to. I can just click the the strategy presets and we're done. Does it give you uh, different options for each player? Ask AI to set. Okay, so you can set up player strategies for each player. Um, so that's pretty neat. Uh, let's see the a, they've they've um, the game setup has changed a little bit that I've seen. Uh, your trading AI trading settings are now on a slider rather than uh, um, easy, neutral, hard, very hard. Um, so you can tweak it. Gives you some additional uh, additional. Uh, changes there, um, which is kind of nice. It's all about fine tuning things, right? I mean, some people find the trading difficulty on on the hardest level to be too difficult, uh, while on hard it's too easy. So this just gives you the ability to tweak that a little bit more and make things a little bit uh, a little bit closer to what it is you're looking for. So that's uh, that's pretty neat as well. Um, obviously new rosters, uh, rules and, and, and events and, and all the stuff that is in the game now, uh, it will, will show up here in, in 2021. And then they've also added, uh, I think for the first time, the licensing for the KBO, uh, the Korean baseball organization. So, uh, a lot of us watched the KBO last April when, 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 uh, uh, Major League Baseball was in was in a lockdown, so 
Uh, you get the opportunity to, if you wanted to play the KBO, you'll have the real teams, the real players, and their 3D stadiums, as well as the KBO-specific rules, so regional drafts, foreigner signing uh, limits, things of that nature. So very, very cool. If you want to load up a, a KBO series, you can do that as well. So um, other than that, the game looks pretty much the same. I haven't gone through every single page, but almost everything else looks pretty similar. Um, yeah, everything else looks pretty similar. This page looks a little different just in terms of how they have everything laid out and the players are have these circles around them and stuff, but it looks pretty similar. I haven't, uh, again, I haven't, there's so much, as, as most of you know, there's so much in out of the park baseball that it's hard to, to know everything, but yeah, I've gone through, uh, uh, I've gone through most of these and almost everything looks pretty similar. So, um, you know, the interface has always been one of the selling points of out of the park baseball. It's always been, uh, you know, very, very intuitive and very easy to use. And these guys have continued to do a fantastic job uh, with with that. So, and again, that was our first look at Out of the Park Baseball 22. My name is Aaron Shellen, host of the Around the World Sports Channel on YouTube. So uh, go ahead and, and search me out there. I'm going to have some Out of the Park Baseball content there. I've also got some Franchise Hockey Manager, another Out of the Park uh uh, developments uh, title, as well as some other uh, Wolverine Draft Day Sports content on there as well. So uh, I highly recommend. I've been I've been a fan of Out of the Park Baseball for years. I think I'm on my 14th or 15th series here. So I'm a longtime subscriber to the Out of the Park Developments people. And if you haven't fired this game up yet and you're a fan of uh, baseball, I absolutely recommend it. It is, without a doubt, the best baseball simulation there is. So, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.